Okay, it's about ready to roll over to the race server, and uh, this is the third attempt, but the second attempt you're seeing. First time, wasn't too confident in the car, and didn't qualify. Ended up getting wrecked by someone self-spinning out of two. Spent an hour today working on the set, getting stability built into it, not worrying about speed. And now I have something that I think is stable. We'll find out on the long run. Um, but on the second attempt, I qualified so that we didn't have to dodge someone self-spinning. And uh, the fifth place guy self-spun in front of us. We get collected. So, um, had a damaged car thing was just extremely unstable after that due to the damage. Didn't learn anything. So we are going with attempt number three now. And hopefully, I'm, I'm just going to start in the back. I don't care how far I have to drop to get away from people. I just want to see what this car is going to do on a long run. I can't do long runs in practice or on the track by myself because it just bores me to death. I'm afraid it's going to get too tight because I know when I push it really hard to get a fast lap, it does get too tight. Um, that's mostly due to taking all the skew out of the rear end so that we just don't have to worry about it getting too sideways and then going around. We are the number 12, so hopefully that means lots of people will be way ahead of us and won't matter where we uh, start. But let's get out on track and see how the stability feels. I don't think temps are going to change too much from practice to race, but overall I feel like I've got the stability a little better. Um, it will still randomly snap if you get to the edge because you can't feel where the edge is and there's no, there's no margin for error because of this terrible design, but as long as we can uh, drive it around the track, hopefully we can learn a bit. What I've done is taken the rear almost as low as it can go, got the telemetry out, which is something I absolutely never do, and did a lot of poking around just trying to make sure that uh, I wasn't grinding the ground because I have a hard time hearing when I'm doing that. Overdriving three right now. But got that out. Got it all set up. iRacing has said you want the rear end as low as it'll go. And so that's what we're doing. can't type. Jesus, I can't type at all with these gloves on. So, um, we got Noah... We've got a couple of the setup shop people. We got the guy that wrecked us in the first race. Back here. Not noticing any names that I recognize, but um, let's go practice some more. And uh, try to put this thing on the edge. 
and try not to overdrive turn three. I was doing that way too much on those first few laps. Don't want to set a queue time. You got the black flag. You didn't exit the pit safely. Got to come in for a stop and go. But let's pretend like we're queuing and green, green, green. see okay. what we can do. I was going to see if it would stick. Almost does. But yeah, the default set that iRacing put out is just absolute trash. Um, fixed setup series is just not even worth running because of how bad that set is. All you gotta do is lower the set it seems like and it's way better. Try downshift, I haven't tried that yet. It does make it rotate a bit more. Hey, we get into the nines for the first time. That was my first ever time in the nines. Nine, three, three. So, setup wise, I got OSR set. OSR for some reason makes everything even on the shocks. Um, so what I did, bumped up the right side and we're just keeping them even because we're not going for that absolute speed. We're going for stability. I'm assuming the toe in is the biggest thing. iRacing has lots of toe to skew the rear end. They also don't have the rear end low enough. Um, we've got the rear end low. Probably lower the front a bit more, but um, we're not at that point. Soften the bars to help us turn a little bit, moved a bit of weight back. And yeah, it's just, it's a really weird looking with this weight distribution on this car. Um, but we're not looking for speed. We're looking for trying to finish the race and trying to not be out of control. So our nine would have put us at 18th. Um, I'm guessing a lot of these guys are maybe going skew and qualifying. Or they have figured out how to skew it in race and uh, not get unstable. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But right now, don't even care if we run dead last. I just need to log laps with a car that's not damaged and uh hope i gotta i just gotta see what it's gonna be at the end of a run that way we can kind of start adjusting and then i can bring the nose down a bit more which will allow us to bring the rear down a little more um and we can loosen it up a bit to help us but it's kind of, right now, I feel fine on stability as long as I don't overdrive it or have to make a very quick adjustment. Um, if I got to get on the brakes hard in the middle of the corner to avoid a wreck, we're probably going to wreck. So let's uh, refresh paints because I'm not sure if I did that. And let's get ours loaded up before we even get in the car. If I wreck again, then we're not running the UPS scheme anymore. We can blame it on that. I was actually trying to come up with a uh, paint job for advanced auto parts.
couldn't get anything that I liked. So, uh, 43 seconds left. Got probably a bunch of people. Guess we got a viewer. That would be the number 25, whose ping is like he's in Antarctica. So, here we go. Start in 20 second. There are three additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. do we have behind us? We've got three people behind us, so only one person's going to be lining up right behind us, and I am just going to get myself some distance so that when someone wrecks out of two, maybe we have some room to not get involved in it. Because it's getting very, very old getting ran it into by a spinning car. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed right now. But let's hope that the viewer in the 25, Kenny, looks like his internet has settled down because with that ping, he'd be bouncing around quite a bit. Not sure he knows which lane he's supposed to line up in. He's on the inside. He's supposed to be on the outside. Get ready, going green. I can't pass him. So we're just Pipe car is off. Going to hang back so that we don't get in trouble. And if he passes the car in front of him on the outside, he's in trouble. All right, let's survive. Best lap up, clear all around. Is there gonna be a spinning car out of two? There is not for once. Let these guys go. And we nearly get wrecked by this guy overdriving the corner. Let's back off. So if we don't get ran in two, and ease it through here, because again, we're here for laps. Looks like everyone's going to keep it straight. Maybe we've got a high enough strength of field that. I'm not going to have people spinning out. A little tight there, we got one coming up out of the pits. Now we're going to find out, are we stable enough? Get a little wiggle there, because I got too aggressive on throttle. And we got someone going around, and another going around, and I am just going to back out. Because I have tried one too many times to pass someone who looked like they saved it, and then they ended up killing us. Yeah, more. 
more smoke. Alright, so stability wise, as long as I smooth out my pedals, which is one of the hardest things for me to do, um, we can keep it somewhat stable. There's someone smoking the tires, I don't know if it's because of bad paying or if they are really having the car rotate that hard, but have to watch out for that. It's easier to spin it out of two with the harder corner exit, so just keep our eye on that. We're only running 31 twos, and now, again, I don't trust anyone to be able to save it. We're just going to hit the brakes and not, not even deal with it. We made it to lap seven. We're only like half a lap down now. Still alive though. Giving up a lot of time right now, but I'm not gonna risk wasting more time getting wrecked by someone overcorrecting it as I try to go to their outside. And we're nearly losing it there and got caution and wreck. And we're alive. Thankfully. All right, so I'm going to come in. I'm not going to change tires. We're going to get fuel. And, uh... Try and save a set just in case we go like 20 laps and then another yellow. Just being overly cautious with everything right now. Not looking to wreck. I want to feel what a long run does. And with the uh, current tire wear, way too hard of tires, I doubt we're going to have much wear on these anyways. It didn't really seem like people were falling off too bad. We got 97, okay, 98, okay. and 198 on the left side, so... Head back out and assume that everyone else has got damage behind us and... Try not to get caught up in the next one. Still absolutely hate this car. Um, like a race car needs to be able to be driven to the limit and over it. Otherwise, you can't race. It's just... It's not, you know, like Darlington with the finishes that we've had there in the past. Those people were driving over the limit, racing hard, door banging. Um, I think... If you see any door banging in this car and someone gets a little sideways, they're going around. 
there's nothing that's going to save them from going around. And I think we're going to lose out on that very on the edge mile and a half racing that we used to get. We never, I mean, we sort of every once in a while got it with the last gen car, but you know, everyone that wants more power wants more power with what we had in the old twisted cars through the 2000s. You know, that stuff was amazing before the COT. But, uh, yeah. Now we've got this whole new thing, and, I mean, we'll see what happens in real life, but I just have a feeling that it's not going to allow the drivers to race on the edge. It's always going to be anyone that tries to race hard is going to end up wrecked. And, uh, I don't know. That just doesn't seem like racing. But we'll see what happens. There's always a big difference between sim and uh, real life. I think this car would be a little better with the old tires without the tiny sidewalls. I think we'd to go. Next time by. have Line a uh, okay nine, package down. where you could feel the edge coming. One minute, 32.721. But at least I've sort of got the car stable and quicker and not a whole second off like I was at the first race. And, uh... Now we just gotta hope that we don't get caught up in someone else's mess. We'll try not to give away so much room this time. And maybe be able to work our way forward. But this is the longest I've made it with a clean car by, well, it's like Going three times green. as long, almost. So, we're doing better. Be ready. Now I just want to feel what the car does late stages of a tire run. So, we're still on the tires we started with. Now we just got to survive any stupid mistakes here. Car outside. We got a lap car going. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside so probably two up. people battling for the lucky dog there. Just Still there. To, uh, let them go. We got smoke. Still there. Hold people your line. lifting. People not lifting and running into the back of another car and Still then hitting the, the wall and cutting down the track. And, well, we're all the way at the back again. So we got two people lap down and then another guy four laps down. survived two wrecks out of two now. Alright, so last time we were at 97.98. I doubt that's going to change. But we are still going to come in, top off. Because 
because we can make it 62, 65 laps on a fuel run. So we're getting very close. The pit road is now open. Get stuff, 19 car. More people coming down. Probably, I mean, lots of people got damage from that incident out of four. This time we're still 97, 98, so we hadn't done anything go, to go, the tires go. in that half a lap lap that we did, sort of half off pace. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm having to just you know, be as careful as I can because these cars just react so much different when they're self-spinning, and it's very hard to gauge when they're catching it and when they're just going to continue to spin. So, got to be cautious. I think I'm going to run to the restroom, though, because this is looking like it's going to end up taking way too long that this is all going so we go do that and hopefully we'll get a long run at the end of this hopefully I won't go a lap down be back in a second all clear punch it Spare. Don't get a stupid penalty. I think I screwed up my volume, though. Line up, single file. Pass up, sixteen car. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Catch up, twenty-three car. Okay, so... Catch the tail end. We'll be starting on the outside at the back, and... Hopefully everyone gets their shit together so that we can get some green flag laps in here. If this setup seems to be halfway good and doesn't go stupid, I'll post it. 
in the forums. It's definitely not going to be fast, but it should be something that you can get around the track and not be terrible. So, if we find out that it's not terrible, then I will put the link in uh, the comments on where to get it. We'll try this again. This 20 is going to end up wrecking multiple people. I don't want anything to do with him. Loose. That's the guy that wrecked us in the first race. Now they're making contact and we're just backing out of it. Car outside. Still there. Clear. And we got one going around. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Catch up, 23 car. Catch up, 23 car. Pass the pace car. Catch up, Nearly got car. killed by the 16. Not sure. I think he got down on the apron to slow down, and that apron is Catch brutal. Up, 23 car. So. We have survived three wrecks now. That one was just stupid. Wrecking in the middle of the front stretch. Either someone got down on the apron and got loose and turned, or they turned across someone's nose. A very pointless wreck. Open. But we're in our tire window now, so we'll go in, top off, get tires, and uh, see what happens next. like everyone is nope the leaders are not and a lot of the people in the back are not so they probably got tires on the last caution or don't feel like they need to get tires because we haven't done anything but Right now it's just, I mean, we hadn't put tires on yet, so quarter of the way into the race, we had three sets on the wall. It's pointless to save up any more than we were there, so. Seventy-five, seventy-six laps away from the finish, and can go 65 laps on fuel. Not that it looks like we're going to be able to do that many, but just something to start thinking about. Letter 10, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. I don't know what this guy's doing.
only used a not even a quarter of a gallon to get back around to this point so coming back in to grab that much isn't going to do us any good Yeah, I can't believe how bad the iRacing setups are, though, for this track. They knew this was the next track on the schedule, um, but kind of seems like they didn't put all that much effort into it because I mean it was just ridiculous on how it drove so after reading the information they put out in the forums talking about the snap over steer that allowed me to kind of start working on it knowing you know, that it's not a high rate car situation where, you know, like an F1 Red Bull have their rear end up quite up high the with the nose drop down. Knowing that the splitter wants to be, or not the splitter, but the diffuser wants to be on the ground in this car to make One the most downforce helped. So then it was about just getting side to side and, uh, yeah, if I ever learn anything about shocks, then maybe I can fine tune it more. But right now we're going with the dumb shocks and just kind of being a bit off pace here, but it doesn't matter because we get a caution every five laps, so. See if we can get a long run in. About to go green, stay focused. Leader just needs to go early, that would be helpful. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Can we do any racing? No, we got one on the apron. Luckily, they didn't get sideways. Got a big push there. We are in 18th, six spots away from where supposed to finish. Getting a little push. Running lower than everyone else in three and four. But I feel like I'm getting a better exit because they're kind of pushing up and overdriving. We made a pass.
little unstable. We got one spinning halfway. He saves it though. Luckily we got around him. on the transition, off throttle, nearly got us sideways. Should be able to complete this pass. be a little less aggressive into one now just because I'm not sure what the car is going to do to me got some smoke up ahead from someone at least I thought that was smoke Doing good in one and two. We're kind of even with everyone we're around in three and four. But I also feel like I'm not damaging the right front like most people are in three and four. Yeah, I could probably go harder, but I don't see the point in it. interesting to see where we compare with the guys in front of us in 10 laps car is getting a little wobbly as we slide up in four miss my turn in there a little tight on exit because of it So we're getting kind of the same effect where it's when I transition back on throttle. I know that one wasn't a very aggressive back on throttle, but I had been having a little bit of the same issue through the middle of three and four with my wrecked car um, in the last race. So we got two cars running into each other still running into each other, neither of them going around yet. Now what's the car going to do behind someone? It's getting loose, center, we should be able to complete, nope, just snow drive out of the corner, sand lower, then we're going to be way quicker, one and two, just need to find a way to set it up, going a little higher, did not work for us. Got one loose.
for side to side contact up ahead. This guy wasn't able to complete the pass. More side to side contact. Looks like he's going to save it, so we don't need to be very safe, but they are going to be three wide. Seven got loose and wiggled up. Still there, hold your line. Go low, 51.833. And then drives down into us, apparently. And now we have damage. No way we went up high enough to cause that. It wasn't the seven, it was whoever was off the pace there. Alright, luckily it doesn't seem like it's affected the car. that wasn't the viewer that I ran into. I don't know what number it was. both of them, thankfully. Twenties trying to fight on the outside. there. Puts us in 10th. I feel like the set is doing pretty damn good. It is getting a little more unstable, but right now I feel like I can still keep going the pace that we're going. Biggest thing is going to be just easing onto the throttle in three and four. We're ten laps short on fuel.
Tried to push too much there. Got a big push. You can definitely feel it going away with the right front. But I need to get a bit of a gap to the 20 because I don't want that guy around me anymore. Getting tight, middle one and two. We'll need to take it a little easier through there. Still just a bit tight, kind of a lot of, a lot of changes happening to the car. don't like that because one of the times it's going to push straight into the wall. Everyone's starting to get a little wiggle. But I feel good about the set now. It is too tight. But that's an easy fix wasn't too loose at the start, so I figured it'd be too tight just with the way that we're going for stability. off throttle to try to get it to help turn but that could backfire and we get loose and spin and then we're dead oh no the viewer's still ahead of us at 25 he's three spots up so that's good I don't know who the hell I hit. This is just such a weird car though, but at least we're not full throttle three wide like we were on every restart with the old version of the car. Tony hits the apron behind us. Twenty one starting to fall off a bit. Question now is when do we pit? We are a second off pace. Pit early, go for the big Hail Mary, and hope we don't get a caution. 
how far is the leader from us behind? Because we were dead last at the start of this run, pretty much. Let's get it down to seven gallons of fuel added. Which, how is that going to affect the car being new tires, light fuel? Lots of unknowns. Got one on pit road. There's Noah. Screw it. Let's go next time. Gonna be a little slow getting on, but. Might as well, we're not going to be doing anything else from this point, so let's uh, give it a go and hope there's not a yellow, and hope we don't speed. Alright, we got lucky there. see what happens here. We got 10 seconds of damage. We're not going to worry about that. Are a lap down now. All clear. Punch it. Speed. You only have one car that remaining. No cautions, please. Lots of people coming in the pits. That's good. Oh, almost pitched it in there. We don't need to do blazing fast laps. We just need to do laps quicker than a second slow. If that sentence made sense in English. We are gaining a lot of time on the people that aren't pitting, though, that were around us, so that is good news for us, if it goes green. of the leaders in. We have passed the three car who was ahead of us.
viewer Kenny on the 25 on pit road from fourth place. Leader, we are in Lucky Dog spot right now. Leader right ahead of us. Alright, back on the lead lap and in 11th. cars quicker than us on fresh tires so we're not going to worry about that too much we have gained some positions from getting on pit road early we're up to ninth Not all that far behind Noah, and the car is driving halfway decent, so luckily pretty even to start off. It does get too tight, but again, that's just something we'll have to work out. I am just happy that it didn't get so tight that we were knocking walls down because I thought for sure it would take him to skew out. But I think that skew was the biggest problem for us, along with the rear end being way too high. So we're probably going to drop to 11th. We're not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to get this guy past us because he has not shown any smarts yet when he's faster than someone and is just way too aggressive. Get both of them past us and hope we don't lose any more. I think there's still quite a few people out there that have yet to pit because the 21 I think was ahead of us. He's letting him pass. All right. Maybe the 20 was just being aggressive when he was a lap car. Which makes no sense. Getting a big wiggle there. Got really loose. Now all of a sudden 20 is dead slow on entry there and the 21 is going to fly around our outside. Alright, so maybe a 12th place finish. Now, there could still be people out there going to lap 90 before they pit, so still 13 laps before we find out if there's any extra spots that we could get. Oh, or I will fuck up entry and nearly kill the run and myself. 
you gotta remember we got low fuel it's gonna drive slightly different it did kind of go through that little phase where it was rotating a bit more than normal now in previous stock cars it would get tighter with less fuel I would assume the same thing with this but three car gets up and Bad loose up ahead. I don't know how he even saved that. His tires are going to be toast for this corner. He's still got a little wiggle in the center. Just I don't I don't want a caution, even if it gains us a spot. No cautions, please. Just get this thing over with. So if we get a caution, then everyone's going to be pushing it really hard on the restart, and multiple people are going to spin out, and I will probably get caught up in it, and I feel like I've had a very good run for where I'm at with this car. big of an arc there. Car did not like that. Big pile of cars up ahead of us. I assume that's lead lap guys getting around a lot of lap traffic. It's definitely a little looser than it has been. Tires were 7486 on the right sides. Time to wreck a bunch. Pass the pace car. Get up 20. Car. So, we've got 17 cars on the lead lap, and we'll probably have 18 once the wave around. So we gain a whole lot of nothing out of that. We are coming down for tires. And uh, that might get us even more people on the lead lap with wave arounds. Pit road is now open. Left us 18. Car bike. And we got to let someone coming out of the pits by before we can pit. Get us 18. Car. Your lap car just pull ahead of people. Because now I've got to stop so that I don't pass the guy. Like, you're not going to get penalized for passing people that are going in the pits. Alright. Let's try to survive this last mess. The nine car stayed out, it looks like. So he gains massively. Move it, move it. So there were probably two or three people that hadn't pit yet, and we lose a spot to the twenty two. Make them last the rest of the race. Line up single file. Pass up twenty six car. But I'm happy with my run, whatever happens here. Tires off of that bit of the run, 89.93, 99.95 on the lefts. And 
we'll see where we're restarting. But now everyone's going to be going all out, which means there will be people self-spinning everywhere. I hope not, but it's probably going to happen. And we are in 12th, so we'll be on the outside. The 20 car lost a lot of spots. And uh, the 9 and... Well, the 9 we know for sure was back with us and stayed out long. He's in third now. Uh, the 25 is a lap down. How did he end up a lap down? He must have had a speeding penalty or something. Looks like he's getting a wave around, but yeah, he's going to be last car on the lead lap once he gets his wave around. Don't know how he messed that up. Must have been speeding or something. So we're 12th, we're supposed to finish 12th. Let's just hope we can survive and finish 12th or higher. No changes, we're just on lower fuel. Hopefully it stays under us when we try to go hard. One to go, next time by. You're on the outside this time. One minute, 34.397. What sucks is if we get stuck on the outside going into three, because I have not really done that line. But a whole lot of things could happen before we get there. Somehow we survive. Still hold. Clear outside. Two wide. Still there at the bottom. Clear. All right. Well, we have survived so far. Inside. You're up top. Three wide. Thirty-two point four six six. Still hold. Right side. Two wide. Clear inside. And the eight self spins. And we might be in the top ten now. How we survived, I have no idea. And do we survive this? 
Please keep going. It looks like they did. Holy shit. Alright. P8. to go. Didn't lift all the way off that time. That seemed to help at these higher speeds. got one and a half seconds behind us, pretty much one and a half in front of us. Let's just not get a caution. I don't want to have to survive another restart because that was scary. behind, one second ahead, but now they're lined up in front of us, so they may start to pull away. Getting bouncy on the brakes, that's not helping the situation. 1.5 still. Too high, nearly pitched it. Get us to the white flag, please. No green white checkers. on throttle, don't need to do that. We're not going to track these guys down. Just need to be happy with an 8th place finish. I'm not going to catch these guys in two laps. Even if they get loose. No, that's Noah. Here we go, white flag. We're not going to get a caution, so only I can prevent a top 10. Alright, we're immediately going and looking at that restart. 
door banging, guy getting completely loose. There we go. P8. Very happy with that finish. It was a fun race, but God, this car just isn't fun. You just... You can't go over that edge or you die, and... I don't know. I just don't like that. But we survived, finally. Didn't get into someone else's mess and come out of it with an eighth place. Alright, let's take a look at that last restart. I'm just, we'll watch it all back. Because I think it's the very next lap that it happens. So I completely screwed this up. I was going to go low, but luckily I didn't because the 22 was just going to drill us if we did. We get stuck up here on the high side. A bunch of crap starts happening because people are going down on the apron. Nine gets loose. We're three wide here. Blue car loses it. We go low. We hold our line. Three comes down a bit we touch then we're three wide in the middle we got the nine to our inside luckily the eight didn't throw it four wide and I honestly don't remember how we got like because the eight finished behind us so how the hell did we go top side we're three wide we don't give a whole hell of a lot of room oh yeah the eight self spins forgot about that. So he self-spins there, or not spins, but gets loose, and then we finish eighth. So not as exciting um, as it looked from in-car, but uh, yeah, let's see. The 11 gets loose, slides up in the wall, keeps it in the wall, three and I get together, and uh, you know what, it felt a hell of a lot scarier in car. So let's uh, go take a look at all the wrecks. Tires there at the end, 95-96. First one, 22 just hitting the wall, and 22, please don't be broken already, okay, it's not. Here's Kenny in the 25, and he totally misses the corner, and pretty much takes out the 26. Eighteen wall scrape, the 5, losing it. Puts it in the wall. This is when we were just dropping anchor anytime we saw anyone get loose. Twenty-six. Little wall scrape. Fourteen loses it on entry. Drop anchor for that one. Sixteen. It's gonna wall scrape. 11, getting loose, and then prediction code, and then him in the 16, and, well, someone, the 5, 
tried to sneak around the outside, and the 16 gets hooked, and boom. Both of those guys, I think, are out of the race immediately. We get going again. This is when the 19 hits the brakes or something and comes down in front of everyone and nearly causes one. Then the 23 getting loose, getting looser, and then caution as he guns it back onto track to try to cause a caution, I guess. Wall scrape. Wall scrape. No, that was a wall hit. And... No, that's the 24 and the 22. Yeah, I... It's kind of on the 22 there. Five car trying to go make laps after drilling someone face first at 160. And then this guy gets loose again. 16 out there with his broken car. And broken cars do not drive good. that close to a pay to wreck guy or 23 he survives it survives the 20 it might have been the 23 that we hit 20 gets loose fifteen overdrives the corner and into the wall Oh, it's the 15 that we had. Oh, yeah. What was he doing that low? But he gets loose on corner. Four prediction code. Three. A little bit of a pitch into the corner. Nine doesn't turn in, and him and the 23 get together, and then the 23 hits him again, and they both go sliding up and give me two free spots. 26. Eating the wall again. 22. Barely touching it. I want to know what caused the caution. We're not there yet. Let's... Five blows up. Hopefully this wasn't the caution. Nope, it wasn't. Everyone pitting. And the seven. Self spins out of the corner and brings out the caution. The 19 gets loose. He's been getting loose a lot, and then we've already seen this. So, all right, we survived. Let's uh, take a look at results now that we've finally finished one and made it to this point. 45 I rating, 14 safety rating. Four incidents. Um, that slap time, we only did a 31 0, but it's all we really needed. Felt good on the long run. Just a little tight, so I think if we loosen up just a little bit more, that will be helpful. So, um, not too terrible for pretty much not racing for the first 25 laps. 
I'm happy with it. So, hope you enjoyed the race. Thanks for watching.